In this video, we'll go over how line styles function, how we can modify them, and how to create custom line styles. A line style is the visual appearance of the pattern that appears on and repeats along a line. We have a number of ways to control what line style we apply to our lines. We can use them for a variety of purposes, including showing specific elements of your house like electrical, water, or ventilation lines. Let's start by drawing a line by going to the CAD menu, Lines, then Draw Line. Click and drag to draw the line. By default, CAD line styles are controlled by the layer the line is on. To change the style for all lines drawn in this plan view, we'll need to change the style assigned to the layer. Go to the Tools menu, Layer Settings, then Display Options. Since our CAD lines end up on the CAD default layer in this plan view, click on the CAD default layer. Near the bottom, click on the drop down for the line style. This list is going to include the few basic line styles available in every plan file, as well as whatever other line styles are currently in use in your plan file. This is where we can also choose the line weight, which we can see if we have line weights toggled on, and a color. Choose one of the dashed line style options and click OK. We can see that the initial line we drew, along with any new CAD line we draw, is going to use this dashed line style. If we switch to a different plan view, like the kitchen and bath plan view, we'll see the CAD lines we drew disappear. This is because different plan views are, by default, going to have different CAD layers, so we can keep CAD drawings and notes separate between the different views. A quick way to figure out what layer our lines we now draw are on is to look at the active view. Go to the Tools menu, Active View, then Edit Active View. Click on the selected defaults panel on the left, and at the bottom, we can see the current CAD layer our lines are ending up on. In this case, CAD, Kitchen and Bath. From here, we can either go back to the Layer Display options and change the line style there, or we can click on the Define button here, and with the layer already selected, change the line style. Click OK, then OK, and like the previous plan view, now all lines we draw in this view have the same line style we chose, and we can switch between plan views, the lines and their styles being kept separate. If you want to change the line style for just a single line, we can do so by selecting the line, clicking Open Object, going to Line Style, and then click in the drop down to choose a different line style. In addition to these core styles, we have a number of additional styles you can get from the libraries. Click on the Library button, then expand Core Catalogs, Line Styles, and in here, we have a number of pre-made custom line styles for a variety of uses, like HVAC, plumbing, remodeling, or wiring. You can manage or create new custom line styles by going to the CAD menu, Lines, and Line Style Management. From here, we can edit an existing line style, copy one, or create a completely new one from scratch. Let's create a new line style. We can do so by clicking the New button here. We can also go to the Library Browser, right-click the User Catalog, go to New, and then Line Style. Here, we can give it a name, and below are the controls for creating the line style. On the left, whatever button we click adds that type of symbol to the segment. Click on dash three times, then let's set the length and spacing of each to one eighth of an inch by first clicking on the dash, either in the preview above or on the item on the left, and then setting the values on the right. 
Then, with our final dash selected, click on the text option on the left. This will add a text item to the right of the item we had selected. Let's type G slash W and leave its values as they are. Now, we have a custom line style. Click OK. And if you have the line style chosen in your user catalog, you can click and drag in the plane to draw it. Alternatively, select any line you've already drawn, click Open Object, go to Line Style, click on the drop down, and you may see this line style available if you've used it in your plan already, like we have. If you haven't done so, you can click on the Library button, expand your user catalog, and choose the line style you created from there instead. This concludes our video on line styles. If you'd like to learn more about line styles, you can go through the resources we have on our website or use the built-in help in the program and search the term line style to get more information on the topic.